Jochen Hahn is the ETRC champion of 2018. He takes the fifth title of his career one race weekend before the season end. And the title decision made by two wins at Le Mans, the home of the Van Quatreur du Camion. The famous Le Mans circuit, the home of motorsport tradition since 1923, and a lot of fans here, more than 57,000. The grid for race one, Sascha Lentz, the German in the MAN, takes pole position. Jochen Hahn, the German in the Iveco, is second on the grid, coming to Le Mans with a 66-point advantage. The start of race one, the trucks on their way to the first corner. Lentz keeps the lead. Hahn goes second, third is Andre Kurzin, and Norbert Kisch runs fourth. Lap one, on board with Andre Kurzim in the Iveco. There are problems for Sasha Lentz. He slides out wide, and that's the chance that Jochen Hahn needs. The title favourite goes through into the lead of the race. On lap six, there's a fight for third. Andre Kurzim against his teammate from last year, Norbert Kirsch, in the Mercedes. Kirsch goes through into third place, and Kurzim drops back into eighth by the end of the race. After 11 laps, the chequered flag for Jochen Hahn. Second, a sideways Sasha Lentz, and Norbert Kisch takes third. Delight from the Hahn team in the pit lane. Jochen Hahn on the top step of the podium, joined by Sasha Lentz and Norbert Kisch. For race two, there's a reverse grid for the top eight finishers out of race one. That means that Andre Kurzin with the Iveco is on pole, still waiting for his first win of 2018. Thousands of fans pack the grandstands at Le Mans, ready for the start of the race. Kurzin defends pole position. Steffi Halm lining up second on the grid, slots in behind. On board with Adam Latchko in the freight liner. He's fourth behind René Reinert. On lap two, the battle is on between Halm and Reinert, who attacks on the inside line. He goes off the road as he tries to find a gap. The contact is made, and Reinert has to stop with a broken wheel rim. On lap eight, the fight for fourth takes up attention. Jochen Hahn diving to the inside of Antonio Albafetti. Hahn goes through into fourth. Next target, Latchko in third. Father Connie Hahn sees it all happening on the big screens. At the chequered flag, though, it's a win for Andre Kurzin, his first win of the season. Steffi Halm second, and third goes to Adam Latchko. For the Don't Touch Racing team, it's a great result. Andre Kurzin, the winner from Steffi Halm, and then Adam Latchko. Race three on Sunday morning. Pole position goes the way of Jochen Hahn, and here is the chance for him to win the title. As long as he stays ahead of Adam Latchko, the crown is his. The fans watch on, ready for more action. As the race gets underway, Hahn on the outside line tries to hang on to the advantage. On board with Antonio Albafetti, Norbert Kish sweeps around the outside. There's some great racing going on, though, with Andre Kurzim just ahead of Steffi Halm and then Norbert Kish. Kish elbows his way up on the inside, trying to gain a place. He goes through, but up front, it's Jochen Hahn leading the race and heading for the championship. Into the last two corners, Jochen Hahn is on his way to the title. It's a tenth race win of the season and a fifth championship win of his career. Jochen Hahn wins the race and the championship here at Le Mans. He's followed home by Sasha Lentz and Andre Kurzin. Congratulations, Jochen Hahn. Jochen Hahn heads to the top step of the podium. Sasha Lentz and Andre Kurzin finishing second and third. It's an all-German podium here in France. For the final race of the weekend, it's Ryan Smith on pole position. The British driver ready to go. The fans are ready for this final race of the weekend. It's a bad start for Smith. 
he has problems shifting up through the gears, and that means he goes backwards as everybody else swarms past him. The field accelerates through turn one. On board with Smith, he's got work to do to try to gain places back. He goes to the outside, heading up towards turns two and three, and runs out of road. He cuts the chicane, gets back onto the circuit behind Antonio Albafetti, the race leader. Jochen Hahn is making progress, and his next target, Jose Rodriguez. He dives up the inside and takes fourth place. The next target for Hahn is Steffi Halm. There's a gap on the inside, and Hahn goes for it. That is third place. Jochen Hahn making progress, pushing forward all the time, looking for another podium finish. The new champion making great progress up through the field. Less fortunate, Terry Gibbon. He's late on the brakes and makes contact with Louis Refenko. Gibbon spins and there's damage to the truck. At the chequered flag, it's a win for Antonio Albafetti, the fourth victory of the season for the Spaniard. Ryan Smith second, but he doesn't score points because he's a new entry with his own team, not driving for the Oxo team, who he formerly did race for. And third is Jochen Hahn.